Hey Terry, first of all, we'll, we'll start with Paulie O'Connor um, going back. Was that a, a disappointment for you or was it just one of those sort of footballing matters and it was better for him? Paulie's been a great lad, a great character. Um, hasn't played as much as he would have wanted to. You know, he's been really unlucky. I've said that in the press before. Um, I think when we played Walsall away, we had Big Andy Cup, we chose Ben Ennigan and then Ben, ben stayed in. So <clears throat> he's played in some of the big games, the Arsenal games. And he's, he's made his mark in that game down there. Um, great kid, we wish him all the best. Uh, it is football, so he's a young lad who wants to play and then hopefully he's going to play a bit more at Bradford now. Mm. And Chris Long coming in yesterday, how did that all come about? Well, Chris uh, hasn't been playing at Fleetwood. Um, we know him from old, I did work with him at Everton. Um, he's a talented player and uh, he's desperate to play, so you know, he's ended up with us. Yeah, didn't get his opportunities. People have been rumours talking about his sort of attitude at, at Fleetwood. How, how are you going to change that? Have you spoke to him and how's he feeling coming into this club? Spoke to him, you know, uh, he's just desperate to play. Desperate, desperate to play. Um, so it's not about money or it's just about opportunity and, and we could give him the opportunity. We are strikers down at the moment, so we're looking for quality strikers, you know, on and not a great budget for us. Um, but we think we found one and it'll be a good opportunity for him to put himself in the shop window and uh, I'm looking forward to watching him play. Do you think it's one of those that just fell into your lap, that kind of thing? Little bit, I mean, it's a bit more work to it than that, to be fair. Um, little bit, you know, but, you know, he does He does know, he, don't, he knows me, uh, I know him. Um, I don't think he wants to travel, you know, he doesn't want to move to Scotland where he could have got a lucrative contract and, um, turn down other places to come to us so fair play to him yeah is that is that a positive then for you that he's like say he's willing to come here work for you and what when you spoke to him what what kind of message was he saying no that was it you know he gave me a, a real great impression that he wanted to come and play uh, for blackpool simple as that and you know and could have got more money to go elsewhere so fair play i know his talent he's, he's, he's got great talent um now it's uh, it'll be you'll get the opportunity it'll be up to him to show it. What about Mark Howard came off in that Arsenal game? Um, how's he looking for this weekend? Very doubtful for this weekend. Again, we'll assess him this morning, but very doubtful, obviously, for this weekend. Uh, but Chris has come in and done well, you know, before, and uh, he's waited patiently for his opportunities, and he'll get another one, I think, on Saturday. Yeah, it it, it doesn't come any tougher, does it? You had Arsenal in the cup, and then you go and play the top of the league. Portsmouth in not a great record. How are you going to go and change that? Um, well, it's not the you know it's it's a tough fixture that's for sure because you you go into Portsmouth and the 18, 19,000 banging the drum down there. They are top of the league on merit, you know, because they've won more games and all that. And you um, have got some good players. They're well organised. They've got a goal threat. Um, just scored five at Fleetwood there recently. Um, so it's going to be tough, but it's it's football, isn't it? We uh, we're going to have to defend well and, uh, and score a goal if we're going to win.